Hello, bro. It's a great day today. I'm Guillermo. And I'm Audrey. Today we have a lot of interesting news, so let's get started. At Bishop Row, when someone says Sarah, we generally don't think of a person. We think of an app. Many of us spend hours completing assignments on this program created by Ray Doss. We had the opportunity to talk to him more about Sarah during a visit to our campus. When, when did you start the app Sarah? It was probably maybe about like seven years ago that we started developing it and then we started sending it out to schools maybe about five years ago. Why did you start Sarah? I was working with schools one-on-one, -on -one. like I was teaching them and I had like a small group of teachers and thankfully that was going well. And then what happened was we were hearing from more and more schools that wanted help and so I had to create something that was going to ensure that kids in schools that we weren't at personally were still going to improve and so that's, that's why we created it so that we could start helping a lot more kids. Where did you come up with the name Sarah? So Sarah was my mom and um, I named it after her because she, she was she inspired me and she made me really love learning and she made me like love education. She was a college professor and I just, I wanted to have the program be named after what like inspired me to, to be involved in, in education and, and care about it. It's funny, I never thought I was going to be an educator, but I always cared about helping people learn and helping people with their problems and stuff like that. Um, so when I was launching this, it just kind of felt like the right thing to name it after her. Do you create all the videos and all the essays and questions yourself? There's a huge team. So there's the entire, the whole content process is probably, it's now involved maybe over 200 people. Um, so the videos are all me, but there's an editing team, there's a content creation team. So in total, there's probably, I don't know, somewhere around 20, 30,000 practice questions we've created. So it's a gigantic team that's involved. Uh, how long did it take you to make the Sarah app what it is today? To date, there's been like over maybe 150,000 kids on the program, and right now there's about 15,000 on the program. And it took probably about three or four years for us to go from just like the, the group of schools we were at locally to, to where we are now. What's your favorite subject to teach kids on It that. depends on the day. Um, so like some days I'm ready and excited to do a math problem. Um, other days I don't want to do math at all. Some days I'm sitting down and I'm like this reading passage is exciting. I'm interested in it because it's like maybe a book from a book I like. Um, a lot of days I'm like oh my gosh this reading is just the most exhausting thing and I just want to go to sleep. You know so it's, it's just like anybody else. Wow I didn't know about all those cool facts about Sarah. Yeah same. Switching gears, now to sports. Freshman Talia Rodino recently competed in a golf tournament in Augusta, Georgia. Reporter Sydney Hatcher talked to our top golfer to hear more. I've been playing golf for 11 years now. My dad got me into the sport when I was four. He brought me to the range and had me hit a couple golf balls. A coach saw me and asked if he could give me lessons for free. And so that's where it all started. Um, I continue to play golf because it's really fun and I meet a lot of new people. We get to go to a lot of amazing places and it's just a great experience. My experience playing at Augusta National was like really, really fun. And I got to meet a bunch of new people. We got to see a lot of professional players and being on TV was really cool. Yeah, I'm planning on furthering my golf career. I definitely want to play golf in college and maybe become a pro one day. Yeah, I've just recently competed in the Drive to Putt National Competition um, at Augusta National. And it's where a bunch of kids from all across the country and even some out of the U.S. come to compete. There's 10 kids in every age division ranging from 7 to 15 and you compete in various competitions. First, you compete in districts. The top three from districts move on to sectionals, and then the top two from sectionals move on to regionals, and then you have to win your region to move on to the national competition. Well, that's all for VNN, I'm Audrey. And I'm Guillermo. From the seventh period Digital Video One class, have, have a, a great, great rest, rest of your day, day bro. bro.